Welcome to the Greenwall Mojo blog. We're going to show a picture progression of what we've done at SIU over the last 12 months, and then we're going to finish up with some screenshots and explanation of the data that we've just gotten. Now, when we decided to move into the runoff water testing phase, we had to go in and saturate all the walls, dig out the outlet pipes, and make sure that they all worked well before we could uh, set up the collection systems. And this is a few pictures that showcase what we had to do with the graduate students. While we were out there doing this, uh, oddly enough, uh, a tour group came by that was touring all of the uh, green research that SIU is doing, and Dr. Bill ended up giving an impromptu talk there on the roadside by our wall site, and, uh, and it was pretty funny. Uh, but it showed us that there was a lot of interest in the testing activity and the data that can come out of these test trials at SIU. Now we've got a picture from April, and that's one of our control walls that was never planted. And then uh, at the same time in April, uh, this is a wall with some green spurium, and the next shot is some uh, sedum kamchaticum. And you can see we're in the middle of a drought, an early spring drought where we had high heat and no water. We had fertilized, but it didn't rain. Now, uh, coming up, we've got some shots uh, after a few months. This would be the end of May. We'd had some rain. The fertilizer did the trick. The plants have rob robust <laughs> top growth, and uh, boy, do these things look fantastic. So Dr. Bill and I began digging in and connecting all of our runoff water collection buckets at this point, and that's what this series of photos shows. It's the outlet pipe, and you can see how we're going to connect the pipe that uh, conveys the water down the hill to our five-gallon collection buckets. And, you know, one of the things that we've learned is sometimes in these rain events, we can produce more than five gallons of runoff water. So you'll notice in the data at the end of this, uh, some of these little uh, uh, bar graphs top out at a uh, little more than five gallons, and that's why, because that's all that we can hold. But it still tells us uh, initially that plant material does have a positive effect on uh, runoff water and its detention retention and uh, that from species to species some do a lot better job than others of holding on to the runoff water. For example what you're going to see in some of these um, uh, screenshots of the test data coming up is evidence that uh, the green spurium really doesn't hold on to too much water. The Kamchaticum and the uh, immigrouche do, to some extent, do a better job than the green spurium and also a better job than the um, uh, mixed plugs. But the one that's really the champion is the sedum fetimus, which is a relatively new variety. And if you look in there and you compare the bar graphs, at every rain event from July through the end of October, you'll see that um, the fetimus really held onto the water. There was very little water passing through the system and going into the collection buckets from the Phetimus compared to some of the other species. So we could definitely say that a, a living wall grown over with Phetimus is going to function better as a retention detention structure than one planted with something else. And right here is some very clear data showing exactly what we got. And uh, Dr. Bill was kind enough to boil it down for us, and the bar graph tells it all. You can see how much came through the control wall that was unplanted, and then you can see the effect of different species on the planted walls. Take care.